to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a very, very, very highly requested video. It is my makeup tutorial. So this is kind of like my everyday makeup tutorial. I put on fake lashes, which is not what I do every day, but just for the purpose of like teaching you guys how I do it, um, I thought I'd show you how I do fake lashes. Um, like I said, normally every day I don't. Um, so I'll just walk you step by step how I got this look. And uh, yeah, I mean, you guys have been asking on my Instagram. Every time I do this eyeshadow, everyone is in my messages like, how do you do this? So um, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Let me know if you like it and if you'd like some more makeup tutorials. And let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I like to tie my hair back. Um, excuse the mess in the background. Uh, we're waiting to get our new dresser. And... Uh, our clothes have nowhere to go because our dresser is like all broken, whatever. Okay, so first thing I always do is start off with priming my face. My two favorite primers are the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the Professional by Benefit. I get both of these at Ulta or Sephora. Um, when it comes to primer, I like to get a high-end one just because um, I feel like it's super important. So I'm going to use the Smashbox one. So this just helps like fill in my pores and it just gives you a good base for your makeup. So I just do that. And then um, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Also get this at Ulta. Um, a good alternative, it, my favorite from the drugstore, is the Maybelline 24 Hour foundation this is really dirty sorry um i like this when i'm not using this so if you are looking for a cheaper alternative i like this one um maybelline 24 hour foundation so um right now i'm self tanned but it's a little bit fading so i'm gonna mix um the shade medium neutral and a little tiny bit of fair light neutral so i'm just going to mix it on my hand so i'm gonna do like two pumps of this and like half a little not even half a pump and then i'm going to take a brush i can find one and just mix that together and then i'm going to take my beauty blender i have a um you can use like the beauty blender brand um i just use the real techniques um i also have the jeffree star pink one that i really like so i just dab my hand and apply it and you can use a brush as well but i just love the beauty blender i just think it makes it look really um seamless so um i'm just going to apply this to my whole face and i like to go down my neck because you don't want like that line where you can see where your foundation is so make sure you go down your neck um obviously my face is darker than my body because i don't self tan my face so um i picked a foundation shade that matches my body not my face otherwise i would look really scary so just apply that all over okay so next up I, I look crazy right now i'm going to take my tarte shape tape concealer this is my favorite concealer ever and i'm just going to apply it under here um a little bit goes a long way so i use it um basically this is to help conceal and also highlight in the areas that i want highlighted so i do under my eyes and then I do drag it onto my eyelid to base um, for my, use it as a base for my um, eyeshadow. So I drag it down and over and then I do the other side. Get it in the corner because it gets really dark in the corner of your eye over here. And I take whatever's left on my beauty blender and dab it on my chin, down my nose, and on the center of my forehead. So, oh my gosh, it looks really crazy. Um, so occasionally, like throughout this process, I usually do it after my powder. Uh, I wipe off my lips, so just do a little bit right now. So next, I'm going to set all of this so it doesn't slide around. Um, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Uh, this is my all-time favorite powder. I actually just ordered more because I'm almost out. So what I do is just get it out into the lid and then oh I have an itch and then I take my beauty blender it's still damp and everything oh gosh I have an itch on my nose 
and I just sorry by the way I'm sick so that's why I'm like sniffling I know people will probably get mad um, and then I just pounce it under my eye and I'm, I'm running out of powder so normally I like to do more but there we go and down a little bit on the top of my eyelid and I like to so I let that sit there and then I just get my um, brush so I got this this is actually a Sephora brand I believe um, a stippling brush I like the my favorite brushes are the morphe brushes because they're inexpensive and they're really good quality which you can get those at Ulta so now I'm just like setting the rest of my face just like lightly with powder And then you can let it sit as long as you want, but I'm impatient, so I just dust it off like that. So that's how I do my basic foundation kind of routine. Um, so after that, I normally do my eyebrows. So for eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. This is in the color dark brown. So this is like kind of like a gel consistency. She also has a... Um, eyebrow pencil that's really good um, and then to apply this I use the same uh, brand her brush it's just the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush it comes with like the applicator and then a spoolie on the end so let me get a little closer here um, what I do is I dip my brush and this is also a little bit goes a long way so you have to be like very light handed with it and hope you can see me so I just brush my hairs up to get them how I want them. And then I go under first and kind of carve out how I want them. And like I try to flick it a little at the end. And then I just kind of go up. You guys can see what I'm doing. Go a little bit more and kind of then lightly carve out the top how you want. And then go down and match that over on that side and then you just fill it in I need to get my eyebrows done and then for the front part I don't put any extra product on my brush I just go under with whatever is left on the brush because you don't want it to be too harsh at the front and then I kind of just like flick up and then brush it and then I'll do the other one. You can see the difference. Um, I'll do the other one and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm finished with my eyebrows. Now um, I'll normally move on to my eyeshadow. So um, lately I've been doing this eye look and you guys have been all over me on my Instagram like wanting a tutorial. So this is the eye look that I do basically like every day. So um, I probably already touched on this in the beginning but just remember everybody's makeup preferences are different. This is just kind of like what's easiest for me to just throw on um, no matter what the event is. Um, like I just went to a baby shower and this is the look I did. I'm going to my Weight Watcher meeting. This is the look I'm doing. So um, it's just your personal preference and you know everyone likes different you know levels of makeup and you know so this is just what I've been doing. You guys have been asking. So um, I use the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. You can get this at, it's so dirty. You can get this at Ulta or online. I believe it's still available. Yeah, I saw it at Ulta the other day. This is, if you're just like starting out and you don't know what to do, like what palette to get, I highly recommend this one because it has like basically all the shades that you'll need. Um, you can tell it's very loved. I use it a lot. So, um, I don't have the color sheet of like what the names of the colors are. Um, I might put them on the screen. Um, but basically I just take this, um, big fluffy brush. So this is a, oh gosh, it's all rubbed off. I think it's a Morphe. Oh, this is a Sigma. So basically just any fluffy brush that's like big and fluffy at the top. Um, like I said, I highly recommend, um, 
I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes that are really nice and the Morphe are really inexpensive. So um, I'm going to take, let me see if I can show you guys, these two colors. So these light, really light tannish orangey colors and I'm going to dab my brush into them and tap it off a little bit. And then let me see if I can zoom in on my eye so you guys can like watch me do this for real, for real. Okay, so I'm just going to take that shade and just blend it into my crease and a little bit above, like up towards my eyebrow. So this is going to be like a blending shade so that everything blends together good um, rather than just like slapping on like a dark brown and then it's like not blended out at all. This is just kind of like a, what's the word? Like to help it like transition, like a transition shade. So I'm going to do that on both eyes. Um, I'm just going to show, I'll show both eyes, I guess, because that's how I do it. I don't do one eye and then the other. Um, so I hope you guys can see. So it's very, very light. So what you want to do is start light and build up because, like I said, it's easier than to blend that out. So next, I'm going to take uh, this shade right here and a little tiny bit of this. So I'm going to mix these two. So just slowly getting darker um, and with the same brush and darken that just a little um it's different when i'm like super pale versus when i'm like self tanned um the light the lighter shades look way darker when i'm pale obviously so just kind of blending those all together and that's probably where i'm gonna do a little bit more Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill, uh, the JH33. So it's just like a thinner, more tapered brush. And I'm going to take the same shade that we just took, this darker one right here. So I'm going to take some of that and now just localize it more in the crease right here. So deepen it in a little bit. I hope you guys can see. I'm not a professional makeup artist or anything. So, um, and then I take it a little bit like in towards my lid on the side over here. So fun fact, I actually took a makeup certification course when I lived in California, um, but I've never did anything with it. Um, but I've loved doing hair and makeup like forever. Like back in middle school, I always got crap for wearing so much makeup, but I just loved it. And I loved how it made me feel confident. And, you know, I do feel confident without makeup, but you know what I mean? It's just always nice to like um, put some makeup on and feel really good. So I'm just taking that brush with no extra product and just blending that even more so you're just doing a lot of blending because you don't want it to look super harsh so i'm taking that same brush and i'm going to go a little darker so i'm going to go with this shade right here so i'm going to take that and i you do hear me tapping i want to tap off the excess so it's not like too much at once because like i said it's just so much harder to blend i know it's like very time consuming but it turns out best if you're just patient and um slowly build up the colors otherwise you're gonna sit there like blending out a dark brown for like an hour and it's not gonna look how you want it to so just darken to whatever um shade that you want if you want it super dark or if you want it a little bit lighter um I'm just going to do a little bit more. And then I'm going to take that big fluffy brush again and blend that out. So, one more time, we're going to take that brush and we're going to go in with another dark shade. So, I'm going to mix this reddish brown with this one. So I'm going to mix those two together and then just darken it for the final time, however dark I feel like I want to go. Um, like I said, I'm only going to my Weight Watcher meeting, so I'm not going to go like full-on crazy dark. Just like a little bit darker than what I'm at now. 
Um, I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. And that's probably as dark as I'm going to go today. And I know for some people this might be like super dark, but like, like I said, everyone's different. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of that first light shade that we used and just blend it a little bit on the top to help transition it a little bit. My son might be coming in here, bugging me a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take a flat top brush. So it just looks like this. This is a Unique. I got this from Unique, but you can find them like wherever. And I'm going to take this pinky champagne color. This really makes my eyes pop. I think this is why everyone's been asking like, do a makeup tutorial? Because it really looks like, it just like makes my eyes pop. I don't know. So I'm putting that on this flat brush right here, tapping off a little bit so I don't get too much fallout. And I'm just going to tap it on my eyelid. Like this and go up. And I have cream. You're hungry, baby. Okay, can you hold on one second? Can you go ask daddy? Go see daddy? Yeah. So I like to bring it up kind of far. I don't know if you can see, like, um, this right here up somewhat far just because I feel like it opens up my eyes a lot. So I'm going to do that on the other side, and then I'll show you how I blend it. And it's best to tap this shade because it's very like flaky and um, it just applies best if you like tap. So then I'm going to take um, that same little smaller brush and just kind of go over that just to blend it a little more. See how it's like really harsh on this side? I don't know if you can tell. Um, Where's his sweater? I'm going to take him to go get food. He has a Michigan sweatshirt in the, in the closet, in this closet. Um, and so I'm going to blend that out over here a little bit as well. I'm going to take some of that darker color and just make sure it's all blended. So that's basically all I do for right now. So um, now I'm going to do my eyeliner. So I get this asked so much how I do my eyeliner. So I use the Lime Life. Uh, liquid eyeliner lime life by Alcone. I actually have a friend that sells it I'll put the link for it down below if you guys want to use it. Um, it's honestly the best liquid eyeliner I've ever used the Kat Von D tattoo liner is also really good if you're in Sephora and you just need an eyeliner um, That's my two favorites um, So this I guess just takes a lot of like practice and just like Doing I mean I do this like every time I do my makeup so um I don't know and I'm not one to be like oh are they even I just kind of like slap it on and whatever so I'm gonna try to do this slow I'm used to doing it fast so let me see if I can do this slow so you guys can see so it's very very pointy I don't know if you can see if it's gonna focus or not um it's pretty pointy which I like so I'm just going to start on the outer I'm just going to hold my eye just not super tight or anything because that'll distort the way that you're we you want it to go so I just kind of like hold it steady right here and then I just flick so I go straight out and flick it at the end so it's really pointy and then what I do is start from about halfway through that line and go all the way across so you don't want to go all the way up to that very top point and go down because then it's going to be thicker than you want. So go from like halfway, connect them, and then I just go all the way across and connect all the lines together. And make sure you fill it all the way in. Just be really careful. So, I don't know if you can see. And then, I'm going to do the other side, like that. So, that's how I do my eyeliner. I know I make it like seem kind of easy, and it, like I said, it's just taken a lot of practice um, doing it like every day. So, 
Um, next thing I'm going to do is, so now is when I would normally just put mascara on. Um, I use a L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. This is my all-time favorite mascara. It's literally the best mascara I get at the drugstore. There's all these high-end mascaras that you can pay like 30 or more dollars for, and nothing compares to this. This is perfectly fine. I'll never spend money on a high-end mascara. I have before, and it's not worth it. So, um, I'm actually going to to apply some false lashes today. I know this is not like an everyday, I don't apply false lashes every day, um, only for like special occasions, but for the purpose of this video and showing you guys how I do things, I figured I would show you how I apply false lashes. So um, I'm actually gonna use these lashes that I wore um, the other day for the baby shower because they're still good. I'm just picking some excess glue off. Um, so my favorite lashes to wear are the Ardell Wispies. Um, these are the ones I get them at Ulta. You can get them at Walmart, um, anywhere really. Uh, so I'm just picking off this excess glue. I do wear them. I try to wear them twice. I know some people probably just throw them away, but I like to get some use out of them. And if they're still in good shape, then I will wear them more than once. So, um, I'll show you how I apply them. Basically, um, this is my favorite glue. It's the duo lash glue. You can also get it at Walmart, Ulta, wherever. Um, so first thing I do is I apply a light coat of mascara just to make my eyelashes blend in with the fake lashes um, because my eyelashes are really light. They're almost like a blonde. I mean, you can tell. Um, so I just do a very light coat to make sure that they all blend well together. I'm not going to make them like super long or try to go crazy. Just one coat. And then what I'm going to do is take some glue and I hope you guys can see what I'm doing if I do it right here. So I just take a little bit. You don't need a lot. And I just apply it to the band. Just a very thin layer of glue. This is hard to do and like show you guys. Um, and make sure you get it on each end so that the ends don't come off while you're out and about so I just take it and go through the whole band like that and then I let it sit here and I don't apply it right away otherwise it's literally just gonna slide all around and it's gonna be impossible to apply um I'm gonna take my hair down now that I'm done with my eyes um it's gonna be impossible to apply um, you want to let it get like sticky and tacky so that when you put it on it doesn't just like it's not like wet glue everywhere um, so I just sit here fan it like this or I'll I'll put um, glue on my other one and get that to start to dry so I'm actually gonna do that right now so now that this one's probably a little bit tacky I'm going to hopefully I can do this while I show you guys so a couple more blows and then I, you can use tweezers, but I just use my fingers and I just place it in the middle first and then I take both ends and place them where I want them. And then I hold it for a second to let it stick down where I want it. And then I just let it sit and I'll grab like um, a brush on an opposite end of the brush and just press it. Make sure you wipe it off in between or else you're going to get glue on your shadow. <laughs> and I use the black glue so it's really easy to get it really messy. They have like clear and white but I get the black because I wear the eyeliner and I want it to like blend in as much as possible. So don't touch it, just leave it. I'm going to take my other one which is probably good to go now and going to do the same thing on the other side and this is just another one of those things that kind of just takes practice and it can be really frustrating at first but um if you just keep going with it keep doing it um and just be patient don't put on lashes if you're in like a huge rush just throw some mascara on um so there we go got both lashes on the lashes just like transform your eye makeup. So before I do the bottom lashes or my waterline or anything, I'm going to do my face. 
So my favorite bronzer of all time, this is the only bronzer I use, is the Hoola by Benefit Cosmetics. Um, it is on the pricier, high-ender side. It's not too, too bad, I don't think, but um, it comes in like a little box, so you can tell I'm almost done. So I actually got this palette that comes with it. So that's it right there. Um, I also have the, when I'm paler, I have the Hoola Light. Maybe you can see it. Um, it's just like a lighter version. Um, so I'll show you like, I don't know if you can tell the difference because this is almost gone, but this one's just lighter. So if you're on the um, lighter, if you have like lighter skin, then I would do the Hoola Light. I'm gonna actually mix them right now. So I am going to take this brush. This is another Sephora brand brush. It's just another one of those stippling brushes, but like a little smaller. So this is the bigger one I use for the powder and this is the one I use for my bronzer. So you can see the size difference. So I'm just going to mix those bronzers together and I'm going to put the bronzer right here so you want to put it so I'm not gonna like high like really really contour like strictly I just kind of put it all over that area unless I'm like going to like a really special occasion or something I'll like contour more like harshly but for now I just kind of want it in that general area right here so I'm just gonna do that on both sides and then bring it up your temples on each side blend it together and then I put it right here on my hairline the top of my forehead if you have like a bigger forehead this will help like contour it a little bit and then I put I put it on my jawline and down my neck. Like that. So like I said, if you really want to like contour like hardcore, you'd want to like probably flatten this brush and like really make a thin line but i just like it to look more more natural as natural as this makeup look can be but um yeah so that's all i do for that and then next i do blush so this is my favorite blush ever it's the becca cosmetics flower child and it's actually broken oh <laughs> um but i can still get some use out of it so i just take a blush brush like um slant it a little bit and i just dab it in there tap it a little bit and then I just put it on my cheeks and then up with that bronzer to kind of just blend it all together as like one I just think it looks better this way for me personally on my face so little tiny bit on my nose like that so now I'm going to go back to my eyes I'm going to take this um I got this from Mac it is the Mac risque technical liner so it's just like a coal eyeliner in a really light tan shade so I like to put this in my waterline to really make my eyes look bigger and pop because the light color kind of blends in with the whites of your eyes and just makes your eyes like just look huge and doe-eyed and that's how I like to do my makeup so I'm just going to apply this in my waterline like this oh. so I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera but it does make a huge difference in my opinion um, so I just do that on both sides. And then I just take my mascara and just do a little bit of lower lash mascara. I don't like it to be too strong. Just kind of like dust it on there a little bit. Like So the final step that I like to do is 
highlighter. So I have been loving the Kylie Cosmetics um, loose highlighter. This is in the color Santorini. It's very, very strong. <laughs> um, it's just like a loose powder. So I just take what's on the cap and I take my highlighting brush, which I just use this one. This is a Sigma F35 tapered highlighter. So it's just like a tapered brush like this. I dab it in here and then tap it off. Like it's very, very strong. Just warning you, like watch this. And I just put it right above that blush on my cheekbone. Like, are you freaking kidding me? It's gorgeous. And that's like tapping it lightly and tapping off the extra. It's very, very strong. So just be careful if you're using this. Um, so I apply it like this first and then I apply it down my nose to highlight my nose. I do blend it, so just wait for that. And then my Cupid's bow, right, this little divot right here in your lip. And then I also like to take that flat brush that we use, that pink color, and put it in here, tap it, put it on my, right above, or right below my brow to highlight that up there on both sides. And then I like it in my inner corner as well, just to brighten up and make your eyes look even bigger. If you guys can't tell, I'm all about the big eyes. Um, I just feel like ugh, the highlighter just like transforms the look. It just like pulls it all together. So then I just take that bigger brush and I kind of just lightly blend it because it is like pretty harsh. And you don't want the harsh lines. And then I take my blush and just kind of blend it like that a little as well. And that is it. So, whoa, we go out. So this is the final look. I do um, finish wiping off my lips. And then I like to apply, normally I'll just apply like a clear gloss or like chapstick. But if I'm going out, um, I like to do a liquid lip. The liquid lip I like to use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this is the color Milkshake. Um, I use the Milkshake color if I'm um, if I don't have self tan on. If I do have self tan on, I use the darker shade. I can't remember the name. So Hollywood or something. I'll put it um, on the screen. Um, but right now I'm just probably gonna put some clear gloss on and call it a day. So this is the finished look. Um, like I said, everyone's everyday look is going to be different. So do whatever makes you feel confident and beautiful and comfortable. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.